The conquering of the Spanish America The changes in the post-Middle Age were the result of various great power movements that were already taking place. The arrival of the Spanish in America, for example, in 1492, started a process of territorial occupation throughout the new continent, and several superpowers of the time began to take interest in the region, such as England, Portugal, France, etc. The big question was that the territory was not inhabited, but rather, it had a range of diverse societies with political and social structures. Meaning that no one arriving in the new lands would have an ease to settle in the region. Previously, as we know it, the expeditions that arrived in America were actually seeking trade routes to the India, in what became known as the period of the Great Navies. The Spanish Crown driven by the desire to undertake maritime trade with other commercially rich regions, began to offer rewards and prestige to those who volunteer for the exploration of maritime routes. And it is estimated that from the 15th century to approximately the 18th century, more than 100,000 Spaniards would have crossed the Atlantic towards the newly discovered New World. It was at this point that we consider it as the period of the conquest of Spanish America. Keeping in mind that the number of natives was high, and the kingdoms spread across America had walls. Defenses and soldiers, thousands of Spaniards dazzling recognition and money, moved to America to fight the natives and get to implement colonies for the Spanish crown. For a short time, there was some difficulty in conquering territories, but as more Spaniards arrived, more and more MSS at Cress occurred, because Europeans for the most part already used gunpowder. Cannons and well-developed armor, while the pre-Columbian peoples still carried swords and arrows. Also, the then-recent war against Muslims in the Iberian Peninsula gave the Spaniards great tactical knowledge of war. Another ally of the Spanish in the battles against the natives was the biological question, after Europe suffered with various P. at endemias throughout its history, like the Black Plague itself. The antibodies of the European people were more developed than those of the natives, and when the two peoples began to have frequent contact with one another, a series of influenza and diseases spread among the pre-Columbian kingdoms, where thousands succumbed to illness and many others became invalid, unable to go to the battlefield anymore. A third factor that was of great importance to the conquest of America was fear. This feeling has always been one of the most important for humanity, for warning that a danger may be near. But in the case of the natives, the fact of seeing men riding horses, animals that do not existed in the region, and fighting on top of animals. It gave real fear to the warriors who dared to fight the Spaniards. This series of factors turned the fight for America an unfair fight. Where the violence employed by the Spanish side was totally disproportionate, where several times indigenous already surrendered were executed in cold blood. And there are reports of the Spanish break Bartolomeu de las Casas, indigenous defender, that deal with this topic, as the excerpt to follow. His lieutenant killed many Indians by hanging them and burning them alive. Throwing others to dogs, cutting off their hands, head, tongue, while they are at peace, only to instill terror in them. So that they can serve them and give them gold. While some figures like Bartholomew tried to defend at least the lives of indigenous people. The vast majority of settlers were unwilling to talk or attempt a friendly approach, and after the creation of Spanish colonies, very few natives had their lives spared. 